So you just bought Minecraft or booted it up after five years of not using it at once. Now what? Everything is different? Well, that's exactly what I'm answering today, because this is the complete Minecraft guide for 2022. The first thing that you want to do when you boot up a Minecraft world is, of course, mine a tree or two. Once you've done that, craft a crafting table just like this, craft some sticks, and then craft a wooden pickaxe. You don't want to craft all of the wooden tools because once you get the stone tools, the wooden ones become absolutely useless. So after you make the wooden pickaxe, mine a few blocks down until you run into stone, get at least 20 blocks of it and come back up to your crafting table. The, then craft more sticks and finish making your stone tools. Your pickaxe, your axe, your shovel, your sword, and your hoe. As soon as you're done with that, you want to locate three sheep. And once you do that, kill them since they will drop their wool and mutton. And mutton is actually a pretty good food source when it's cooked. With the three wool, you want to use your crafting table to craft a bed. With the bed, you can now skip the night, which is the most dangerous time at the beginning of the world. In the meantime, you can explore your surroundings, and if you run into a bunch of stone that has black clusters inside of it, mine it with your stone pickaxe. This will grant you a piece of coal, which is good for cooking, torches, and smelting. If you find a stone with white clusters, also mine it, since it is iron and it's good for armor and tool making. With this, the first day is probably already over, and as soon as the sun starts to set, place down your bed you made before and right click it until it lets you sleep. After making your bed and getting a few resources, your next priority is to find shelter. What I recommend doing is find a village. These are settlements full of houses with peaceful NPCs that are called villagers and a metal guardian called an iron golem. Don't hit the iron golem or any of the villagers since the golem will become aggro and utterly obliterate you. Make sure to trap all of the villagers inside of their houses, placing blocks in front of their doors so that they can't get out. They are one of the most overpowered things in Minecraft, but are extremely dumb and most of the times end up dying, and you will definitely want them later on. Once you've trapped the villagers, you can choose any house and make it yours. You can place your bed in here or use the one that was already in there and right click it to set your spawn, unless you're in hardcore and if you die, you won't revive. But I do not recommend that to start off playing Minecraft. And if you don't like living in these tiny houses, you can also make one of your own by digging into a cliff or into the ground to create a temporary bunker that you can call home. You can also leave your crafting table in here and craft a few chests just like this to leave all of your items stored safely here. At this point you are probably starving unless you were smart enough to eat the sheep's mutton. But if you didn't, you probably have one or two hunger bars left on your hotbar. But lucky for you, you found a village. You probably saw these yellow blocks with red strips around them. Those are wheat blocks or hay bales. Mine all of them down, preferably with a hoe since that speeds up the breaking. So after that, you pick them up and go to your local crafting table and place the hay bales in the crafting table. That will turn it into wheat and if you put three wheats down, it will turn into bread, which is a good enough food source in the beginning. And alternatively, if you don't have a village nearby, you can harvest your own wheat by hoeing the ground close to a water block and a string grass all over the place. Another good food source is beef or pork chop. They give the same amount of hunger bars back, so go and kill as many cows and pigs as you see, come back home, create a furnace, put your coal in, and cook it to get the cooked versions of the meat, an awesome and affordable food source. So, you survived your first now, night, you found shelter, now you found food, and now you have an iron pickaxe from the piece of iron you got on the first day. Now what? Well, you want to get armor. The first armor that you want to get is iron armor. It's the mid-tier armor that you get before getting diamond armor. This is the second best armor. So, how do you get iron armor in tools? The easiest way is to get iron 
by locating a huge mountain that goes all the way up to Y equals 233. But night, what is Y232 and how can I see it? Well, what a good question. If you are using a Windows PC, <coughs> click F3 and a lot of numbers will show up and letters. If you're using a Mac computer, go to your local Walmart and buy a Windows PC. <laughs> Just kidding. I literally have no idea what the key is for in Mac. And um, so, in the mess of numbers that this gives you, you will see an X, Y, Z, and then numbers next to it. The middle number is your Y coordinate, telling you your height. You want to go up to the mountain until you reach Y equals 232. And this is where you will find the most iron in the entire world. But if you don't have any mountains nearby, you can dig a staircase down all the way down to Y equals 15. Once you are there, dig a two block height tunnel until you find around 35 to 40 pieces of iron. When that happens, go back home and stuff all of the raw iron into your furnace with some coal. Once it's all smelted up, go to your crafting table and craft iron armor and tools, just like this. Nice, now you've got iron armor. Well, iron armor is just a temporary armor. Yeah, the armor you really want to have is diamond armor. And in the end game, netherite. So, to get your diamond armor, you want to continue strip line all the way down to Y equals negative 59. You will probably run into a dark version of stone called deep slate, that is way slower to mine, so go to y equals negative 59 and just mine. But if you're feeling adventurous, you can find a cave that goes that deep and explore it. It's a little faster and definitely more fun. Once 30 diamonds or so have been acquired, go back up and craft diamond armor and tools just like the iron armor. Home or your base is one of the most important aspects of your Minecraft world. This is where you will respawn, be most of the time, have cool builds, and most important of all, have your storage system. So, make yourself a comfy little or big house, such as a house, a statue, an underground mining system, anything really. I recommend making a base that you can keep expanding, but if you would just want something small but useful, make a house. And if you don't know how to build, look up a tutorial on YouTube. There are hundreds of millions of tutorials on how to make a house. As long as you have a big enough area to store in your items, believe me, you will get hundreds of items later, later, later on. Make sure to have all of your necessities in your base. The next thing that you want to do after setting up a home is getting villagers. Villagers are the most overpowered thing in the entire game, believe me. They give you an unlimited number of items for a few ammo. To get started, you're gonna make a villager breather. So, get your rails or a boat and drag your villager all the way home. Yeah, it takes a lot of time, but it's worth it. And if you're living in the village, it's okay. It just it will be a sh shorter time. Don't worry about it. So, once you bring two of them, look up a villager breeder tutorial and build it somewhere safe, such as your base or a torch up area near your base, because you will definitely need them nearby. Give them food and stuff and wait for at least 10 villagers to grow up. Once that happens, make some cubby holes for your villagers and give them workbenches. I would recommend getting 2 farmers, 3 fletchers and 5 librarians to start with. For the farmers, get 2 farmers to sell carrots and potatoes on their first trade. You can cycle their trades by breaking their workbenches and placing it down again. If a villager is not hooking up with the workbench, that means that another villager is trying to get their work workbench. So I recommend giving a job to one and bring another villager around after you have a job for that guy. For the Fletchers, get them to all to sell sticks and arrows in their first trade. This will be the most useful villager for now. And for the librarians, get one guy to sell mending, one guy to sell protection 4, one to sell unbreaking 3, and one to sell efficiency 5 or sharpness 5, whichever one you prefer. To lock a villager's trade, you have to trade with them at least once. Once you have 10 villagers, get more, basically. And expand your trading hall and add more villagers. You probably got diamond armor at this point, and you're probably thinking, wow, my armor bar is full. No, 
There is one more tier of armor called netherite. You can only obtain netherite in the nether, of course. It's both explanatory, really. So, you probably haven't gone to the nether yet, or maybe you have. Either way, hop into your nether portal, which is made of an obsidian border, which you can get by pouring water on top of lava, just and then make one just like this one, and light it on fire with the flint and steel. You can make a flint and steel with one flint, which you get from breaking gravel, and one piece of iron. Once you're in, dig deep until you are at Y equals 15, and you probably saw all that lava and a red stuff all around you. Well, ignore it for now. It, you don't need it right now. Just dig deep and don't mine too fast since you can run into lava pockets. Once you're at Y equals 15, dig straight until you find a brown material like this one. Mine until you get 36 of these brown materials and then go up to the surface. This might take a very long time, or none at all. It depends on your RNG. So, once you're done, go back home and collect 36 gold pieces and smoke down your 36 netherite pieces. Combine them in a crafting table and voila, you got netherite ingots. And you must be thinking, but Knight, this is only 9 ingots. You can only make one piece of armor with this. Well, no. Grab four logs and two pieces of iron and combine them like this to make a smithing table. Grab your diamond gear and tools and combine them in the smithing table to make netherite gear. After you got stacked up and made a beautiful base, you gotta beat the game. And it might sound like a daunting task, but it is. Yeah. You were well prepared for the task though, you gotta hop into the nether again, you gotta locate a fortress after that, which can sometimes be extremely tough. But there are a few tools such as chunk base to locate fortresses. So once you find one that looks like this one, enter it and beware of the wither skeletons and blazes. Blazes will set you alight and wither skeletons will wither you, which does a lot of damage. You can test it out if you want to. What you want to do here is kill blazes. And these are some nasty little boogers. Bug boogers. Buggers. But you can cheese them by locating their spawner and blocking them off. Farming them easily. Once you got 8 or 10 of their drops called blaze rods, head over to one of the blue biomes in the nether called a... I can't remember. These got a bunch of endermen which you need to beat the game. Once you got around 16 pearls, head back home. Once you once home, craft your blaze rods into blaze powder and combine 16 blaze powder with 16 ender pearl, creating ender eyes. Go to your base and right click with the ender eye. Head in that direction until a pearl goes downwards. Pearls can break when thrown, so be careful and don't use them excessively. Once it does go down, mine downwards and you will found, find the stronghold. Explore until you find this room with a portal that has lava underneath. Hopefully you still have some under ice because you need 12 for this. Right click with the eyes on the portal frames until you fill all of them. Head through and witness the final battle. I will tell you what happens there, so enjoy. After this, Minecraft is all yours. You can head through the portal the dragon left and find a city. There you can find an elytra inside one of those flighting boats. You can create a mega base or start an awesome project. You can create farms and dive in through redstone. You can literally do anything you want. So hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, subscribe.